imagine there's a flow of information that you're part of, right? So you, you're getting information, right, in your daily life, in like everything you see, everything you look at, everything, you know, that you observe. And by the way, we're all observing from a different angle, so we're all getting a different piece of information. So we actually are, you know, all kind of like um, collectively, you know, producing the, uh, the diversity of the world in, in that sense, meaning that we're all humans, but we all look different. We're all a little bit different. We all have different digits. We all have like, you know, different irises because according to this view, because when we're gathering information, feeding them to the vacuum through our biological structure into the atomic structure, into the vacuum state, we are actually giving different sets of information, different interpretation of the same thing. So we're, so then the feedback makes us a little bit different from each other. Um, but basically, you can imagine that when you realize that you're part of this feedback, feed forward loop, um, when you um, when you intend, uh, let, let's just say that if you're not aware of it, um, you might not realize um, that, like, if you if you're fairly scattered, you know, basically, um, you know, you're disrupting this flow, or you might find that if you become aware of it that there is ways in which you can get this flow to flow at higher rate and more coherence and more um, in more positive matter than uh, decoherence and, and like uh, uh, scattered information. Um, so that like intention is really like a, a focus on a very specific set of information, a focus into like manifesting it outside yourself, meaning manifesting, you know, or inside yourself, whether whatever you're trying to change, but that you're consciously making an effort to send that very specific information into the field and, you know, and then reacting to what the field is feeding you back, right, as a result, and then continuing to send that level of information maybe what you get back is not exactly what you want so then you continue to insist on a specific set of information that you're trying to obtain on and and you know it, it demands a certain focus and it demands a, a certain state emotional state that's stable enough so that um so that um, your bio antenna is not being disrupted with, uh, you know, incoherent heartbeats, incoherent breathing, you know, hormonal, like, like there's, there's, there's a, like there's a coherency at all the levels, including your emotional level. And, uh, you know, that, you know, so that, that if you are the antenna, uh, you're tuning that antenna with your state of emotion, right? And that state of emotion can be linked to many things, including what you eat, what you, if you slept enough, if you didn't sleep enough, if you jet lagged, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of things. If you got uh, cut off too many times on the highway on the way to work, or if you spilled your coffee on your lap on the, on the way to a meeting, you know, whatever the case may be, um, you know, becoming aware that you're a participant in this, that you're engineering this field as a co, uh, a, a co-contributor to this field um, of information uh, allows you to uh, increase your impact, increase your focus, and uh, and uh, and uh, and obtain results that are probably remarkable relative to um, what you would obtain being unconscious of it and, um, and, um, and not necessarily knowing how to interact with it to get the most, the most out of it.